Kia ora and welcome to the Whanganei Heads Yoga Studio. My name is Cameron Tukapua, I work as a Chinese medicine practitioner and a big part of my practice is empowering people to connect with their spiritual self-identity. And working with a client recently, the question was raised, why is yoga so popular these days? And there's so many reasons for that, but I think ultimately it's like yoga makes you feel good, right? You go to yoga, you feel lighter, you feel freer, you feel calmer, your body feels more supple, more easy, more relaxed, your mind still. Yoga does all that, so it's a great remedy for today's crazy world, and I think a lot of people are going to the yoga studio as a refuge from that. You know, it's a very stimulated world we live in today. And yoga teaches us to direct the senses inside and connect the mind and the body. So in simple terms, yoga is stretching and breathing together, bringing the body to the mind, getting the, the mind to center in on the felt sensation of what's happening inside. And for a lot of people, they come to yoga for the body experience and then they discover there's another something. There's this inside experience, this inner place of peace and calm and steadiness that's there when we turn inside. So yoga is a pathway to that. How does it work? It works by bringing the mind and body together. It comes into now time. So when we come into now time, we can manage whatever's going on in our lives. And, and oftentimes, because our worlds are so busy, we've got our thoughts on what's coming up in the future or, we'll, or what's happening in the past. And if our thoughts are going fast around those things, past and future, we get anxious. So this generalized anxiety that's, that's affecting so many people today is, I feel, is a response to the uncertainty of a fast-changing world and people worrying about what's going to happen up ahead or what's, what's happened back there. Did they do the right thing? Did they make the right choice? Did they say the right thing? So the beautiful thing about yoga is it brings us to now and it puts us very firmly in the felt experience of this moment. And most of us can manage this moment. So as we do more and more yoga, the feeling of now time living, living in the present, starts to generalize and affect the rest of our lives. So the rest of our lives get easier too. It's not just the yoga practice time. So for me, I feel yoga is a practice that connects us to ourselves and to the truth of who we are. And when we connect to the truth of who we are, we're more likely to be able to experience and share that with the people around us. And having a genuine relationship with ourselves, we can then start to have genuine relationships with others. So I know in my practice that a lot of the work I do with people, I'm listening to their stories, and a lot of the stories involves angst around relationships. People would love to be closer to their loved ones. You know, I hear mothers who don't know how to love their kids, who don't know how to speak with love and kindness to their kids. I hear kids that don't know how to be truthful with their parents. So we don't get a lot of education about how to connect that inside self, uh, self and how to bring that out and have real relationship with, with ourselves and each other. So I'm really passionate about that. I'm passionate about uh, encouraging healing conversation about why that's so important in these times. And uh, I invite you to join our conversation. We're going to be rolling out a series of talks like this in the next few weeks and introducing you to pathways that help you connect to the truth and the essence and simple ways of being that encourage harmony, cooperation, collaboration. This is, to me, is a feminine power. It's a power that's birthing in the world right now. And uh, I'm really keen to be part of that conversation of encouraging that. So I invite you to join us. You can join us on our Facebook and follow this conversation. Have a beautiful day. Kaki te anam.